Hello, and welcome to this video from Zenitel. In this video we will show you how to configure an ICX Alpha Com system for integration with Linel S2 OnGuard. The video is divided into two sections. The first section shows how to configure the ICX Alpha Com. The second section shows how to set up and how to use the integration within Linel S2 OnGuard. An integration between ICX and OnGuard will typically consist of a number of door intercoms, and one or a few operator or guard intercoms, like in this simplified example. The first step is to check if the ICX server has a valid license for the integration. Then we need to enable the communication between the ICX and the OnGuard. Start your web browser, and log in to the ICX server. In the system configuration, licensing, check that the license type, interface enabled, is set to 1. If not, a new license file which includes this license type must be installed before proceeding. The TZP port used by the integration must be added to the ICX firewall. By default port 3001 is used. Go to System Configuration, Filters, and select Add Filter. Enter any name, and enter port number, normally 3001. Remember to also enable the port. Now start the configuration tool AlphaPro. In the serial ports window, select MPC data protocol. and set the port type to TCP IP server and the port number to 3001. The next step is to configure the call button of the door intercom and define the members of the ringing group that should receive the call. By default the directory number 6701 is used for calling to ringing group 1, 6702 calls to ringing group 2 etc. In the users and stations window, select the door intercom. Open the direct access key table by pressing the button DAK and enter 6701 on the first line. The first line is related to call button 1. If the intercom has a second call button, enter the destination for this button on line 2. Then select local groups. Scroll down to ringing group 1. Press change. Under the members tab, include the operator or guard intercom in the group. You can include multiple intercoms in the group if they are to be called in parallel. When a call is made to the guard intercom, we need to configure the ICX to send a data message to the on-guard system about the call. This is done from the event handler module of the AlphaPro. In the Exchange and System window, select Events. Insert a new event with UDP Group 8 as the owner. Event type is Received Mail. Enter the action command that will generate the appropriate data to the OnGuard. Please pay attention to the space character before the closing double quotation mark. The action commands can be found on Zenitel Wiki, from where you can copy-paste the commands. Go to wiki.zenitel.com, and search for, Linnell. The ICX is constantly monitoring all devices connected. If a device is failing, this can be reported to the OnGuard. This is done by configuring three events in the ICX. 
In the Exchange and System window, select Events. Insert a new event with UDP Group 8 as the owner. Event type is faulty station line. When change to must be set to on. Enter the action command that will generate the appropriate data to the onguard when a device is failing. Also here pay attention to the space character before the closing double quotation mark. Insert a second event, also with UDP Group 8 as the owner. Event type is faulty station line. When change to must be set to off. Enter the action command that will generate the appropriate data to the onguard when a device is coming back online. Insert a third event, also with UDP Group 8 as the owner. Event type is event timeout. Enter the action command that will generate the appropriate data to the onguard. Often an operator would like to open a door simply by pressing a digit on the intercom keypad during the conversation with the door. This can be done by pressing digit 6. This may operate a relay on the door station itself. Or if OnGuard is notified, OnGuard can take the action to open the door. To notify OnGuard when pressing digit 6, an event must be created for each door station. From the Users and Stations window in AlphaPro, select the door station. Then the button Events. Insert a new event. Select event type door opening during connection. Set when change to to on and when related to to UDP group 8. Enter the action command that will generate the appropriate data to the onguard. Repeat this procedure for each door station in the system. Finally, if the operator station is the model ITSV, there is one setting which is required in the phone to make it work with onguard. Log in to the ITSV phone, and select the account in use. In the Call Settings, set Auto Answer to Enable Intercom Paging. The next section shows how to set up the integration within Linnell S2 OnGuard, as well as some basic operations. We assume that Linnell S2 OnGuard is already installed and up and running. And that the accessory add-on software for Zenitel is installed. The first step is to define the intercom server, and the intercom stations. Start the system administration application, and select additional hardware and intercom devices. Under the tab, Intercom Devices, add the intercom server. Enter a descriptive name, and the computer name of the workstation. Set Intercom Exchange Type to Zenitel Alphacom. This option is only available if the accessory add-on for Zenitel is installed. Under the Connection tab, enter the IP address of the ICX server, and the port number used for the communication with the ICX, normally 3001. Under the Intercom Stations tab, add Intercom Stations by entering the station name, the Intercom server, and the directory number of the station. The next step is to define the operator or guard station. In Monitoring, Monitoring Zones, select the tab Monitor Stations. Enter the computer name used by the workstation, and select the intercom station to be associated to the onguard.
If intercom icons are to be placed on a map, you can select the tab Monitor Zones and select the default map to use. To place intercom icons on a map, start the application Map Designer and open a map. Drag intercom icons from the left pane onto the map. In order to show different statuses by using different icons, right-click the icon, select Properties, and enable Icon Group. Save the settings. An intercom station can be associated to a camera. In the System Administration application, select Video and Digital Video. Under the tab Device, Camera Links, add a Device Type Intercom Station. Select the intercom server, and then the intercom station you want to link to a camera. Press Next. Choose the video recorder, and select the wanted camera. Continue to add more intercom station to camera links. Or press finish. If video should pop up when receiving an incoming call, select the tab alarm video configuration. Scroll down to Call Queued and enable Automatically Launch Video Player on Alarm. Now start the alarm monitoring application. In order to show the directory numbers of both stations in a conversation, make sure that the column Intercom Station Called is shown. Open the System Status tree. Incoming calls will now be shown in the Main Alarm Monitor and in the Status tree. The call can be answered by right-clicking the icon and selecting Call Intercom. If a door lock is to be activated, this is done from within the Linnell system, or by pressing digit 6 on the guard intercom station. To terminate the call, right-click and select Cancel Call. To initiate a call from the guard intercom station, simply right-click the target intercom, and select Call Intercom. By selecting Place Call, any station number can be called. If intercom icons are placed on a map, incoming calls will be indicated by changing the status of the icon. Calls can now be answered and cancelled in the same way as from the system status tree. If an intercom station becomes faulty, this will be indicated in all three windows. If an intercom is associated to a camera, the video will automatically pop up when a call is received.
The operator can also manually activate video by right click and select launch video. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit our web pages at zenitel.com and our wiki pages at wiki.zenitel.com.